Welcome, Hi, Kili. Kili. Yeah. Hi. Now, you have always been known as one of the major strategies for Pakatan Rakyat and for Pakatan Harapan. And with all this uh, talk about New Malaysia, we would like to ask you, uh, which areas do you think are key in trying to reform Malaysia? I think broadly, uh, we can talk about changing the nation for the better in four areas. Um, institutional reform, where I think we have broadest uh, consensus within the government and within the society um, because everyone in, in the current government suffer from some prime ministerial dictators mm. um, whether Dr. Mahathir or Anwar uh, so I think consensus is there clearly so institutional reform will be uh, a lot easier compared to uh, other areas I think we need to build economic consensus for the future what, what do we do uh, do we still maintain the same old economic model, trying to tweak it, or we have to think out of the box? Uh, we will have to think of uh, paying people better. Mm. We'll have to think of um, maybe moving up the technological ladder and not to do low-end stuff. We may have to rethink our relationship, economic rela relationship with Singapore and Bangladesh because wages in Malaysia are not set in Malaysia. They are set in Bangladesh and Singapore. <laughs> So we have a huge number of Bangladeshi workers in Malaysia and we export huge number of Malaysians to work at low-end sector in Singapore. Now, how do we find the balance? Uh, can we create a situation where instead of importing Bangladeshi workers to Malaysia, we as Malaysians be organised and invest in Bangladesh? And therefore, we move our low-end industry to Bangladesh. Uh, we have a more stringent foreign workers policy but at the same time, we guide industry, we help industries to pay people better, mm. use less labour mm. and uh, use more technology so that skilled workers in Malaysia or those who work in Singapore can come back to work. Now, the third area uh, is about national identity. It's about how to actually find a new, new way of seeing who we, are, who we are as a nation. I think that is very important. That is not going to be easy. That's not going to be easy. That will take time. Uh, we will have to eventually see that while we may be culturally different, we may came from different cultural background, but our destiny is the same. And our life in many ways are quite similar. I uh, always say that I empathize or I can empathize with a Malay hawker uh, and, or a Malay taxi driver a lot more than many Malays elite because mm. I live through that. My, my, parent, my father was a taxi driver, I sold lottery ticket on the streets. So I understand the psychology. And we are very similar. We're very similar. So how do we actually eventually see everyone having a very similar destination and therefore having a, a, a different view about race, religion, economy? I think the final part is about our place in the world. Mm. How do we see ourselves uh, from the point of defence? How, how do we see ourselves uh, from the point of geopolitical uh, situation? How do we see ourselves uh, playing what sort of role internationally? Um, those will require us to organise the society better mm. in terms of institutions, in terms of economy, in terms of uh, national identity, so that we can actually punch above our wave internationally. Mm.